Welcome to the Benny Report. I'm Batman. Actually, I'm Benny Johnson. But as many of you know, we are enormous Batman fans on this show. The Dark Knight is America's finest superhero for obvious reasons. He is tough. He has the best tools and villains to fight. And unlike those villains and many of his fellow superheroes, Batman has no special supernatural powers. He has no DNA mutation. He wasn't born on an alien world. Batman is just a guy who loves his hometown. That's his superpower. His motivation is not trying to protect the galaxy. No, Bruce Wayne's motivation is simple and local. Stop petty crime in Gotham. Fight it with his bare hands. Batman's an outsider looking in. The corrupt political law enforcement establishments of Gotham hate him because they cannot control him. Outsiders tend to see and solve problems that insiders cannot. They are by nature against the system, against the corruption of the establishment. This is what makes Batman iconic. He fights the corrupt establishment. Kind of reminds me of someone. Mr. Trump. Yes. Are you Batman? I am Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I love that clip. I love that clip. Was there no more a fortuitous clip in 2016? Amazing. A classic. And in a way, it's true. Both Trump and Batman are rich, mysterious, unpredictable guys. They own skyscrapers in Gotham. They have a cult-like hero status for throwing their privileged lives away and getting their hands dirty. Both have a helicopter and a plane, but it's their outsider status that make them work. They have not been part of the corrupt system, so they can see the problems. They can break the machine when it needs to be broken. It's why Trump ground to a halt federal hiring. It's why he fired or forced the retirements of more corrupt federal employees than any of his last 20 predecessors, that is for sure. And he dissolved over 2,000 federal regulations. See, if you're not part of a corrupt system, you can fix it. If you're a creature of that system, you can't even see the problem. Or you're profiting too much to care. Trump is still despised by both establishments, that's obvious, the orgy of pointless, lard-filled federal agencies turned on Trump like a bloated body fighting a cancer as soon as he got to D.C. And they might have even won, gotten rid of him forever. But like Batman, Trump inspired many more vigilantes across Gotham, across this nation, and they are standing up. Consider the sheer energy shift of our movement toward based patriots who put freedom in America first. Has there ever been a more exciting time to be a conservative? Have there ever been more diverse range of inspiring young voices taking up the mantle of freedom? Think about it. The names, so easy, right off the tongue. DeSantis, Cawthorn, Boebert, Kirk, Owens, Klasik, Tatum, Bongino, O'Keefe, Grinnell, Sanders, McEnany, Hawley, Stefanik, the list goes on and on and on. Young, energetic heroes. Many of them are friends of the show, and we are grateful. They're a reflection of a new fighting GOP, one that listens to its grassroots and working class, a God-faring base, not the corporate boards, a new GOP that will get its hands dirty, hit the streets, get loud. Charlie Kirk, of all people, went to a school board meeting this week to flame them over critical race theory for crying out loud. Check this out. Good evening. I'm an Arizona taxpayer and employer of over 100 people in this state. I am disgusted that you are lying to the citizens of this state and the people that pay your salaries. You say critical race theory is not in the school district, and then moments later, you have someone come up and use that word, equity. Just last week, the CUSD Summer Equity Symposium was held, and it was, quote, to create systemic change, change your leadership thinking. How about addressing implied implicit bias for student excellence? If you know anything, just a little bit, about where these ideas and these phrases come from, you know that this school seconds. district is stomping on the legacy of Martin Luther King Jr. This is a racist, vile, and evil ideology that has infected this once great school district. I implore every single member of the school board to actually learn what you are supporting. Equity means redistribution. If you care about skin color, you are a racist. That is a bigoted and awful idea. It is against who we are as Americans. I implore the school district to reconsider. Thank you. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. This is what needs to happen. And it is happening. Trust me. 
We travel the country and speak with the grassroots every single week. These are our people. This is what they want. They yearn for fighters because the left is weak and tyrannical and stupid and corrupt. Gotham needs a hero and regular Americans are standing up, becoming that hero. Mothers are running for school board. Fathers are running for city council. Students are speaking at their own school board meetings. When was the last time you saw that happen? Regular Americans are fighting for the future of their country, their Gotham City. This is what you want. Alongside them, a new group of emboldened influencers are running for federal office. This is their moment. This show is devoted to them, to the new Republican Party, one that fights with energy, a party that stands up and does something when the country is burning. God only knows what Trump will do in 2024. Nobody knows. But the Trump phenomenon will echo on through politics forever. We live in a new era with a new Republican Party. It's new energy. Trump changed things forever, like the Joker tells Batman. Watch. Those mob fools want you gone so they can get back to the way things were. But I know the truth. There's no going back. You've changed things forever. Notice how Batman didn't argue with that line? Batman knew Joker was right. We have changed things forever. Now let's go save Gotham. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.